Interrupts. The actual interrupt is an electrical signal, and the presence or absence of the interrupt signal is always monitored by a specialized circuit in the CPU instruction execution process. When an interrupt is generated, the supervisor or kernel, which is the heart of the OS, is activated. An interrupt processing program is executed in accordance with the kind of interrupt. The illustration shows the relationships between the running program, the supervisor in the I.O. channel. After an I.O. request has been sent out and until the I.O. processing is completed, the CPU is freed from this program and can execute a different program. The OS task management program does the switching of the program. In addition, since the data management program does the I.O. processing, its processing request needs to be issued to the supervisor. This request is called the supervisor call, SVC interrupt. The supervisor resides in main memory and handles unpredictable events such as a control of each management program and errors. The function that handles these irregular events is the interrupt. It is basically different from so-called subroutine that is called from the program. When an interrupt occurs, the supervisor suspends the program running at that time. It then investigates the cause and executes an interrupt processing program to deal with it. After the interrupt processing is completed, the original program is executed again or a different program is executed. The causes that generate interrupts Irregular events can be broadly classified into external interrupts and internal interrupts. External interrupts occur without relation to the instructions of the running program. Internal interrupts occur as a result of the execution of the specific instructions of the running program. One. External interrupts A. I.O. interrupt This is an interrupt that notifies of the completion of an I.O. operation, specially called I.O. completed interrupt or a malfunction of the I.O. device. It is notified together with information about a normal end or an abnormal end. B. Timer Interrupt This interrupt is notified by a CPU timer when a hardware timer expires. C. Machine Check Interrupt This interrupt notifies about hardware failures such as CPU malfunctions and power supply problems in external devices when they occur. D. Restart interrupt. This interrupt occurs when the operator presses the restart button. Two internal interrupts. A. Supervisor call interrupt. SVC interrupt. The interrupt notified to the supervisor when the processing program wants to use an OS function such as loading a program or reading data. This is called the supervisor call interrupt. It is also known as a system call. The instruction used at this time is called the supervisor call instruction. SVC instruction. This instruction can be used to generate an interrupt. 
The supervisor call instruction is directly executed from a running program or indirectly through a standard library routine, a group of often used programs. B. Program Interrupt This interrupt is generated by the following errors that occur when a program is running. Division by zero, overflow, the operation result exceeded the range that could be expressed. Memory protection violation, a prohibited location in main memory was accessed. Execution of undefined instruction code. 